Hello and welcome to Worthing and the south coast of the United Kingdom. This is our Dale Road factory and this is the home of our 800 series diamond. Today we're going to go behind the scenes and we're going to show you some of the technology, the craft and most importantly the passion that goes into the making of the world's best performance loudspeakers. It all begins with this. This is our basic level raw material. It's a single sheet of beach. Our cabinets are made from multiple layers. What we're doing is using the inherent pliability of beach to our advantage, that allows us to curve it. And at the same time, we're using multiple layers of beach arranged in an alternating grain structure. And we use that alternating grain structure with the grains running in different directions to add that stiffness. It's essentially a bit like an engineered wooden floor. Now each layer of beach is separated by a layer of dry, glue. It's a new process we've introduced for the latest generation of 800 series diamond. So layer of wood, layer of dry glue, layer of wood, layer of dry glue, and so on. So all those layers of wood and glue and or veneer go together and then we heat the whole thing and put it onto a forming press. The forming press is a hugely powerful hydraulic system that basically pushes down onto the wood and curves it into the right construction. At the same time, we heat the whole thing up to somewhere between 135 and 140 degrees Celsius. Roughly 20 to 25 minutes later, we have a completed loudspeaker cabinet, which is ready to come out of the forming press and go onwards to be machined. So after we've taken that cabinet and taken it from the press tool, the next thing is to bring it round here to one of these. This is a five-axis CNC cutter, a robot cutter. And of course, what we're trying to do there is cut away all of those rough edges that you saw just now being formed on the press tool to create something that we can build into a complete loudspeaker cabinet. Now, it's really important at this stage that the cuts that we make are as precise and as accurate as we possibly can make them, because what we're trying to do is take that form, that wrap form, and join it up to other elements, including tops, bottoms, and internal component parts. They could be made of wood, they could be made of metal. So the precision of the fit is all important. Our accuracy of the cutting is plus or minus 0.2 of a millimetre. After the loudspeaker has been taken out of the CNC cutter, the next stage is to bring it to one of these, which is a device we call the spreader. What the spreader does is allows us to open up the cabinet ever so slightly, just enough to be able to slide in the internal components, and in particular the matrix assembly, which we use to reinforce the cabinet in all directions. So the spreader will grab the sides, slightly open it up, we slide the completed matrix assembly, glue it in place, close the cabinet back up together, and then it will sit here under pressure for two hours. After that, it will come off and sit for a further two hours just to completely cure off, and at that point, what we've created is our completed loudspeaker cabinet. So the next step, once you've taken the cabinet and got it together, is to bring it in here to the sanding area, where we're going to work to make sure that we get everything we need for a perfect finish. There are two parts to this process. First, we use a very sophisticated robot sander. That works on two things, the pre-programmed coordinates that it needs to know to work on a specific model. So, for example, an 804 as against an 802D4. They obviously have different shapes and the robot needs to understand that. But it's also going to use a force feedback sensor. That makes sure that it reaches out and touches, effectively, the surface area of the cabinet and never overpresses at any given point. It's constantly monitoring the amount of feedback it gets as it runs its sanding disc over the surface area of the cabinet. After it's been off the robot sander, it will always come through human process for final checking. The operators here, very skilled guys, will go through all of the work the robot's just done, make sure it's 100% and, if needs be, finish any final areas and details by hand. Our paint process is applied by robot. We've got an automated paint spray robot you can see behind me, plus this oven chamber around here. What this is doing is moving the products through the paint process and then taking them back round through the oven, a stoving oven, which is baking them in each instance before they then come back round to receive more coats of paint. The paint robot will apply four coats in the first instance, then we're going to take these and what's called flat them back to get them really smooth to remove any surface imperfections. Then they'll come back in here again and receive further four layers of paint in this particular instance on this black model. So eight coats of paint in total. After it leaves here, it will then go into our warehouse where it will sit for two weeks and we do that to allow the paint to cure off, to become really hard. Only then can we machine polish it.
So this is our polishing area. What we do here is take the cabinets that have been finished and prepared and bring them across to produce that high gloss sheen that's necessary for a piano gloss back finish. That takes two processes. First, we're going to put them into the robot polisher. That operates very similarly to the robot sander that you saw before. The difference, of course, is instead of a sanding head, it's using a polishing compound head instead. It takes around 70 minutes for a cycle time after which the operators here will take the product out of the robot polisher and finish it by hand. Again, very similar to what you saw in the sanding area. So this is one area of the factory where we can't show you all the details, and this is the reason why. This is where we produce our famous continuum cone. What we're doing here is taking the raw material and turning it into a finished loudspeaker drive unit. The precise details of how remain a closely guarded secret, but the key point is the finished cone will leave here, will go onto our drive unit assembly line before going forward into our 800 series diamond loudspeakers. So this is the tweeter assembly line. What we're doing here is taking the diamond dome and then we're going to be joining that into the surround, the voice coil, the diaphragm mounting plate and the magnet all very small and precise detail work that requires a lot of specific skill. That's then joined into the solid body tweeter assembly, which is milled from a single piece of aluminium. The whole thing then joined up as a complete diamond dome tweeter assembly is tested before it's brought downstairs to the final product assembly line. What we do here is take all of the high quality capacitors, resistors, and the other component parts that go into our crossovers and assemble them exclusively by hand. So everything's hand soldered. Each individual complete board is tested, and then the whole thing's put together onto one of these, which is the crossover spine. That whole thing, again, is then tested before it's packed and taken down to a final product assembly line. This part of the factory is all about what we call by hand process. It's using individuals rather than machines to create that perfect combination of finish and quality on the products that we're working on. In this particular case, the turbine head that you can see here, this is a raw metal component as it arrives in the factory. It's going to be first sanded and prepared, then it's going to be painted by hand in the chamber you can see behind me, and then later it's going to again be polished by hand to create the ultimate finish before it goes downstairs to our final production line. One of the things you'll notice as you go down the final product assembly line is none of the operators are wearing gloves. Now, that's deliberate. In fact, what we do is encourage people to remove jewellery. If they have wedding rings, they have to tape them up to make sure they can't possibly damage or mark the product. But all the same, human skin is actually a really good way of handling a product and making sure that you can't drop it. Of course, it does deposit fingerprints in the process, but all we do at the very end is clean those off before the product's finally packed. One of the key differences between the wooden cabinets and the painted cabinets is the wooden cabinets are created right from the start as pairs. So the veneers that we use are bookmatched left to right. They travel around the whole factory from the first moment of creation all the way through to being packed as paired loudspeakers. So here we are, we've come to the end of our journey. This is one of our final product assembly lines. From here, what we're going to do is bring together all of the processes that you've seen as we've gone around the factory together, all of those different elements, those component parts, and of course, those completed, finished, and polished cabinets, and we're going to turn it into a finished, complete loudspeaker. All that remains is to pack it into the box, take it to the warehouse, and we can ship another Bowers & Wilkins 800 Series Diamond loudspeaker on to yet another happy customer.